a while back, a few months ago, the residents wanted to have a wine club. And I hear there's a lot of regulations in Arizona. There was, there was. There's a lot of regulations that we had to go through with the liquor board. Um, that we were in, so we were able to do this uh, event for the residents and yeah. get the wine club started. You know, I come from the land of regulations, California, and I think I find freedom here and all these rules and about wine. They sure they sure follow you. They <laughs> Very sure follow ironic. You. There's no rules in California, I think. About can, wine? No, you can bring your bottle in a dining room and you're fine. Oh, no, So go no. figure. So uh, tell me how it went. We, um, we helped the residents and this is sort of a resident initiative too. It's not... Yeah. So one thing that I've learned since I started uh, here at Be at Greyhawk is once one resident has an idea they're interested in, soon you're going to get a whole line of residents knocking at your door. And that's how we started working on the V Vino, is what they call themselves. Mm -hmm. And we started looking at all the legal loopholes that we had to go through to get this wine club approved. As you did mention, it is resident driven. So the residents, they're in charge of forming their committees, they're in charge of selecting the wines, things like that. Our only uh, responsibility was getting a room for Renee, setting up the event and getting in contact with our distributors over at Southern Glacier to get the wines. So we ended up getting three different white wines and three different red wines for the first event. Had some uh, handmade charcuterie boards that the residents seemed to love. And the event seemed to go very well for our first one. How yeah. many residents attended? Uh, we had about 48 on the first one and Almost all 48 signed up to be part of the wine club. Uh, that's pretty cool. 